the OG heiress is back. Watch out. Out of the shadows, my voice is loud and clear. I'm ready to bring my special brand of influence to this town. The most beautiful masterpieces have weathered a storm or two, and I'm no exception. I'm not just a pretty face, I'm a gorgeous one. So Maggie did text me about meeting at my house to travel together before we all head to San Marchuno. It's ridiculous to even say, but I perked up and told her, of course. It was like I was 15 again and the queen bee asks you to sit at their lunch table. I still feel like an eternal nerd. Are you ready for this long day of traveling? As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. I wanted to thank you again for traveling with me. The reception to my return has been mixed, so I'm thankful to have you in my corner. Don't mention it. I'm hoping for a relaxing girls weekend. Part of me wonders if Maggie is only trying to cozy up to me because she no longer has Dakota. Whatever it is, I'll take it, especially after Dakota and I in that doomed brunch. With this group of girls? That's funny. But Sophia did allow me to plan an event on the trip. And I'm friends with Winifred O'Keefe, you know the painter. And we're going to her art gallery. She is really impressed with your work. I'd love for the two of you to meet. It never hurts to have good connections, especially when you're rallying the troops. What? Winifred O'Keefe is expecting me? She has seen my work. Maggie, you're the best. I'm so happy you're excited. Now let's get going. Major Brownie points for Maggie. So I'm so thankful to have you all here. This is Drake's family's penthouse, so I know you are all going to certainly treat it with respect. There are three bedrooms, and I took the liberty to draw names on who would stay where. I went ahead and gave myself the smallest room down here in the office. Maggie and Dakota will have room A, and Dominique and Roxy are together in room B. By the looks on these girls' faces, I don't think they're used to sharing. Oh well. So since this is the first night and it's already late, I decided we'd do a pajama party and stay in tonight. So let's all go get freshened up and in our jammies. Cocktails in the main room in 30, okay? So I know I'm newer to this fabulous group of women, and I am eager and excited to form real lasting friendships with each of you. With Sophia's permission, I thought it would be a great idea to play a fun game to get to know one another. Let's play two truths and a lie. Everyone knows how the game works, right? This game is epic, and I'm ready to hear some dirt on these bitches. Okay, great. So Dakota, you start. Mm, all right, damn, okay. Let's see, I love yoga. I lost out on prom queen by five votes my senior year of high school. I'm a night owl. You are definitely not a night owl. You fall asleep at the drop of a hat. I knew Dakota's lie immediately. Well, because who do you think was the one who beat her and was named prom queen? Well, me, of course. Correct. So I guess it's your turn now, Maggie. Uh, okay. So let's see. I got suspended from school for beating up a boy in third grade. I've never had any cosmetic surgeries. My parents threatened to sue me over things written in my books. It's not always easy talking about the struggles and tumultuous relationship I have with my family, particularly my parents. But I think it's important to talk about it to build real authentic friendships. Well, I got this one. You beat up Dylan Jurgens in third grade because he was mean to me. I didn't realize your parents actually went forward when trying to sue you. Yeah, he called you ugly and made you cry. Stupid boy. We all know that Maggie has had plenty of cosmetic surgeries. That wasn't a hard lie to uncover. I remember trying to get them to suspend me too after you did that. Wonder what that is up to these days. What a sweet moment between two lifelong friends. Has hell frozen over? Are Maggie and Dakota actually reminiscing on a happy shared moment? All right, my girl Sophia, your turn. Okay, so I hate going out. I'm naturally a brunette. I became an influencer because I grew up extremely poor. I don't have a background like the rest of the women. My upbringing was a lot different and I came from nothing. I love my family and having a hard life has made me the sim I am today. But having lots of simoleons definitely makes things a lot easier. The first one is the lie. I love going out. I didn't reveal that I grew up broke to have anyone feel sorry for me. 
I just felt it was important for you all to know that about me moving forward. Alrighty, Roxy, it's your turn. Hearing that about Sophia definitely put some things into perspective for me. I sometimes forget that not every sim has grown up with the same luxuries and lifestyle that I have been blessed with. Alright, here goes. Painting is my therapy. I have three thumbs. I was always envious of Maggie and Dakota growing up and wanted to be popular like them. Well, you only have two thumbs, so that's the lie I'm guessing. Well, duh. Everyone wanted to be like the two of them. And sometimes, even as an adult, I still feel like I don't fit in. Last, but certainly not least, it's your turn, Miss Dominique. Alrighty. Well, I'm one of the only supermodels in Sim Nation to grace the cover of every major fashion magazine. I'm certain I made the right decision by moving to San Sequoia. My biggest fear is that I will end up alone. Well, I know that the lie is that you aren't sure about the move to San Sequoia, and that makes me really sad. I absolutely adore each of you girls, but I can't say that I'm sure I made the right choice by moving my life to San Sequoia. I haven't found what I'm looking for just yet, and don't know that I will. I didn't mean to get so deep when playing the game, but I just spoke from my heart. Kudos to Dominique on suggesting the game. None of us held back when it came to sharing. Now it's time to get some rest and head to the art gallery tomorrow. Today is my outing for the girls, and I'm taking them to famed painter and personal friend, Winifred O'Keefe's new exhibit. With Roxy being a painter, I knew she'd be particularly pleased. These paintings are exquisite, Winifred. Amazing. So I wanted you to meet a lifelong friend of mine, Roxy Baxter. She's the artist responsible for those paintings you were raving about. Hello, Miss O'Keefe. I'm a huge fan of your work. You have always been such an inspiration to me. I hope you know how much your paintings mean to me and the entire art community. Call me Winifred, dear. And my oh my, what a sweet compliment. I do have to agree with you. I am a pioneer of sorts. But you, Roxy, have extreme talents as well, my love. Oh, okay, Winifred. So where do you draw your inspiration from? From everything around me. And I'm blindly confident. There's been times in my career when everyone hated what I was doing. As long as I was happy doing it, I didn't care what they thought or said. Confidence sometimes is an issue for me. Keep that chin up and believe in yourself, darling. Hearing Winifred reference confidence and not caring what anyone thinks made a light bulb go off in my head. I've got to start applying that. It was an honor to talk to you. My phone has been blowing up the entire time I've been here. Drake calls me nonstop asking when I'm going to be home. My mother-in-law sends me rude texts questioning me as a mother. I have thoroughly enjoyed working and doing what I love. I'm so overwhelmed. Do you ever just want a reset button? Because I'm at that point. Slow down. Explain. I don't regret having Tessa, of course not. But trying to make me into a Stepford wife just makes me resent Drake and his family. That is not me. And it never will be. You're right. It's not you. I just don't feel like you and Drake communicate enough. And he always involves his mother in every little thing. What I'm saying is that I don't know if this marriage thing is cut out for me. All of it was so rushed, and if I'm being totally honest, I am not happy. I'm at a definite crossroads in my marriage. It's hard to really say what the future holds. Sophia, are you sure? You know I got your back always, but be sure of what you want and what you could potentially be giving up. Sophia has everything that I want, a traditional family life. I just can't seem to find it. So frankly, yes, I do find her whining to be a little annoying. She needs to step back and realize exactly what she has. For more information on The Real Sim Wives of San Sequoia, visit www.therealsimwives.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.